Consider the curve given by the equation y to the third minus xy is equal to 2. It can be shown that the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to y over 3y squared minus x. All right. Write an equation for the line tangent to the curve at the point negative 1 comma 1. All right, so we could figure out the equation for the line if we know the slope of the line, and we know a point that it goes through, so that should be enough to figure out the equation of the line. So the line's going to have a form y is equal to mx plus b. m is the slope, and is going to be equal to dy dx at that point, and we know that that's going to be equal to, let's see, y is, when x is negative 1, y is 1, that sits on this curve. So y is 1, so 1 over 3y squared, so 3 times 1 squared, which is 3, minus x. When y is 1, x is negative 1, or when x is negative 1, y is 1. So x is negative 1 here. And so this is the same thing as 3 plus positive 1. And so this is equal to 1 fourth. And so the equation of our line is going to be y is equal to 1 fourth x plus b. Now we need to solve for b, and we know that the point negative 1 comma 1 is on the line. So we can use that information to solve for b. This line is tangent to the curve, so it includes this point, and only that point. That's what it has in common with the curve. And so y is equal to 1 when x is equal to negative 1 plus b. And so we have 1 is equal to negative 1 fourth plus b. You add 1 fourth to both sides you get b is equal to, we could either write it as 1 and 1 fourth, which is equal to 5 fourths, which is equal to 1.25. We could write it any of those ways. So the equation for the line tangent to the curve at this point is y is equal to, our slope is 1 fourth, x plus, and I could write it in any of these ways. I'll write it as plus 5 over 4. And we're done, at least with that part of the problem.